Heidi Eastman, Beginner Book Video. Are You My Mother? by P.D. Eastman. A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. Oh! Oh! said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He will want to eat. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I will be back. So away she went. egg jumped. It jumped and jumped and jumped. Out came the baby bird. Where is my mother? He said. He looked for her. He looked up. He did not see her. He looked down. He did not see her. We'll go and look for her, he said. So away he went. Down, out of the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. He did not know what his mother looked like. He went right by her. He did not see her. He came to a kitten. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It did not say a thing. The kitten was not his mother, so he went on. Then he came to a hen. Are you my mother? He said to the hen. No, said the hen. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said. But where? Where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother? He said to the dog. I am I not. I am a dog, said the dog. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. Now he came to a cow. Are you my mother? He said to the cow. How could I be your mother? Said the cow. I am a cow. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he have a mother? I did have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I did. I have to find her. I will. I will! Now the baby bird did not walk. He ran. Then he saw a car. Could that old thing be his mother? No, it could not. The baby bird did not stop. He ran on and on. Now he looked way, way down. He saw a boat. There she is, said the baby bird. He called to the boat, but the boat did not stop. The boat went on. He looked way, way up. 
he saw a big plane. Here I am, Mother. He called out. But the plane did not stop. The plane went on. The baby bird saw a big thing. This must be his mother. There she is, he said. There is my mother. He ran right up to it. Mother, mother, here I am, mother, he said to the big thing. But the big thing just said, Snort. Oh, you are not my mother, said the baby bird. You are a snort. I have to get out of here. But the baby bird could not get away. The snort went up. It went way, way up. And up. Up, up went the baby bird. But now, where was the snort going? Oh, 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 what is the snort going to do to me? Get me out of here. Just then, the snort came to a stop. Where am I? Said the baby bird. I want to go home. I want my mother. Then something happened. The snort put that baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Just then, the mother bird came back to the tree. Do you know who I am? She said to her baby. Yes, I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten. You are not a hen. You are not a dog, not a cow. You are not a boat, or a plane, or a snort. You are a bird, and you are my mother. Go, Dog, Go by P.D. Eastman Dog Big Dog Little Dog Big Dogs and Little Dogs Black and White Dogs Hello Hello like my hat? I do not. Goodbye. Goodbye. One little dog going in. Three big dogs going out. A red dog on a blue tree. A blue dog on a red tree. A green dog on a yellow tree. Some big dogs and some little dogs going around in cars. A dog. Two big dogs going up. One little dog going down. The green dog is up. The yellow dog is down. The blue dog is in. The red dog is out. One dog up on a house. Three dogs down in the water. A green dog over a tree. A yellow dog under a tree. Two dogs in a house, on a boat, in the water. 
A dog over the water. A dog under the water. Hello again. Hello. Do you like my hat? I do not like it. Goodbye again. Goodbye. The dogs are all going around and around and around. Go around again. The sun is up. The sun is yellow. The yellow sun is over the house. It is hot out here in the sun. It is not hot here under the house. Now it is night. Three dogs at a party at night. Dogs at work. Work dogs work. Dogs at play. Play dogs play. Hello again. Hello. Do you like my hat? I do not like that hat. Goodbye again. Goodbye. Dogs in cars again. Going away. Going away fast. Look at those dogs go. Go, dogs, go! Stop, dogs! Stop! The light is red now. Go, dogs, go! The light is green now. Two dogs at play. At play up on top. Go down, dogs. Do not play up there. Go down. Now it is night. Night is not a time for play. It is a time for sleep. The dogs go to sleep. They will sleep all night. Now it is day. The sun is up. Now is the time for all dogs to get up. Get up! It is day. Time to go, dogs, go! There they go. Look at those dogs go. Why are they going fast in those cars? What are they going to do? Where are those dogs going? Look where they are going. They are all going to that big tree over there. Now the cars stop. Now all the dogs get out. And now look where those dogs are going. To the tree. To the tree. Up the tree. Up the tree. Up they go to the top of the tree. Why? Will they work there? Will they play there? What is up there on top of that tree? A dog party. A big dog party. Big dogs, little dogs, red dogs, blue dogs. Yellow dogs, green dogs, black dogs, and white dogs are all at a dog party. <laughs> What a dog party! Hello again. And now, do you like my hat? I do. What a hat! I like it. I like that party hat.
The Best Nest by P.D. Eastman. Mr. Bird was happy. He was so happy, he had... This was Mr. Bird's song. I love my house, I love my nest. In all the world, my nest is best. Then Mrs. Bird came out of the house. It's not the best nest, she said. I'm tired of this old place, said Mrs. Bird. I hate it. Let's look for a new place right now. So they left the old place to look for a new one. This place looks nice, said Mr. Bird. Let's move in here. But somebody else had already moved in. So they looked at another house. This one looks nice, said Mr. Bird. And there's nobody in it. You're wrong, said Mrs. Bird. This house belongs to a foot. So they went on looking. I like this one, said Mr. Bird. It has a pretty red flag on the roof. I've always wanted a house with a flag, said Mrs. Bird. Maybe this place will be all right. But it was not all right. I guess I made a mistake, said Mr. Bird. You make too many mistakes, said Mrs. Bird. I'm going to pick the next house. Here it is, right here. They flew in. They looked around. Isn't it too big? asked Mr. Bird. I like this big place, said Mrs. Bird. This is the place to build our new nest. They went right to work. They needed many things to build their nest. First, they got some hay. They got some soda straws and broom straws. They got some sweater string. They got some stocking string. and mattress stuffing. They got some horse hair. They got some man hair. Soon they had all the hay, all the straw, all the string, all the stuffing, all the horse hair, and all the man hair they could carry. They took it all back to build their nest. Mr. and Mrs. Bird worked very hard. It took them the rest of the morning to finish their nest. This nest is really the best, said Mrs. Bird. I want to stay here forever. Mr. Bird was very happy, too. He flew to the top of his house. He sang his song again. I love our house, I love our nest. In all the world, our nest is best. He was so busy singing, he didn't even see Mr. Parker coming. Every day at 12 o'clock came to the church. Mr. Parker came to pull a rope. The rope went up to the bird's new nest. The rope rang the big bell right under Mrs. Bird's nest. Mrs. Bird got out of there 
as fast as she could fly. When Mr. Bird came in, all he could see was a mess of hay and string and stuffing and horse hair and man hair and straws. Where was Mrs. Bird? I will look for her until I find her, said Mr. Bird. He looked high. He looked low. He looked everywhere for Mrs. Bird. He looked down into a chimney. But Mrs. Bird wasn't there. He looked down into a water barrel. But Mrs. Bird wasn't there. Then he saw a big fat cat. There was a big fat smile on the fat cat's face. There were some pretty brown feathers near the fat cat's mouth. Mr. Bird began to cry. Oh dear, he cried. This big fat cat has eaten Mrs. Bird. Mr. Bird flew off. I'll never see Mrs. Bird again, he cried. It was getting dark. It began to rain. It rained harder and harder. Mr. Bird could not see. Crash! Mr. Bird bumped into something. It was his old house. That old, old house that Mrs. Bird hated. I'll go inside, said Mr. Bird. I'll rest here until the rain stops. Mr. Bird went in. And there was Mrs. Bird, sitting there singing. I love my house, I love my nest, in all the world this nest is best. You? Here? gasped Mr. Bird. I thought you hated this old nest. Mrs. Bird smiled. I used to hate it, she said. But a mother bird can change her mind. You see, there's no nest like an old nest for a brand new bird. And when the egg popped open, the new bird thought so too.
Thank you. 